Good morning! It's April 7th, Tuesday. You've got this day and then one more day to spring break. So I'm excited. I have my uh, Bitmoji getting ready for breakfast time because after this I'm making banana pancakes. So I'm excited. Jingles is excited. She's coming over here. All right. So um, just going over today's daily slide. Make sure you have your check ins done. First block has 10 done. Third block has like seven done. And then the fourth block only has five done. So mm, judgment. I'm judging you. Um, and then you have a science starter, which is a video journal. Um, and then a lot of these links, if you go on the daily slide, like this discussion topic, if you click it, it'll take you to the Canvas page. Um, and then also like the Net Forces Station Lab, if you click that. And if you click the forces quizzes, those will take you to the Canvas assignment directly. If you want to do that, instead of having to go click back and forth um, to find stuff. April challenges still over there. Um, shout out to Alayla and Cindy. And now Rihanna has joined the group of challengers. Um, she made a little origami heart. So I need to learn how to do that. And in my daily check-ins, um, not daily check-ins, but my daily teacher um, drop-in hours, like my office hours. Um, I had some people drop by yesterday. So again, 1.30 to 2.30, I have the Zoom open. Um, just come in, ask me your question, and I can work it out. Um, it really uh, works out well because I can show that person my screen and how to get to things and how to like upload things one-on-one. -on -one. So if you have questions about that. Uh, and today's science starter will start automatically if you let it um, is video journal and it's all about 3D printing. And um, if you click right here, the discussion topic, that'll take you to the Canvas discussion topic. You don't have to, you can just write it in your notebook if you want. You don't have to go in public of Canvas and write down. But some people like to share their ideas. Um, and then if you click, there's actually uh, local people and just around the, I want to see if I can move my face, okay, um, that are using 3D printers to help make masks and things like that and like parts of, for masks um, for healthcare workers and things like that, um, you know, to protect them from the coronavirus and they could still um, do their essential jobs. Um, but shout out to um, Ms. Slater and Mr. Knipe. I think they actually took this our school's uh, 3D printers and started printing off um, these little parts um, for like, it, it goes like right here, this part, and then it, you put the face shield inside of it. Um, so yeah, other schools like the uh, media centers um, all around Charlotte and then also the public libraries have been like making face masks. I don't know if a lot of you've seen that um, a lot of costume departments of like theaters have been making a lot of masks so it's pretty cool. And uh, Zoom time. So this is the old schedule. Well, this is a schedule that I've been showing you pretty much in every daily video um, but each block um, I have the times for first block, so I'm going to have a Zoom meeting tomorrow at 9.15, next one at 12, and then the fourth block one at 1 o'clock, and I'm probably going to have a gim kit. I think it's boss battles, so if anyone wants to nominate themselves, and the words are going to be based on those Quizlet words that you were supposed to do, like last week, so I think like set five or six forces in motion, so that's what the words are going to be about. Um, so write this down if you want to know what time that we're going to be Zooming. And then just a reminder, Thursday is a teacher work day. Friday is a holiday, spring break next week. Um, and I'm still posting these daily videos, even though I'm supposed to put all your work on Sunday night. I'm still making these daily videos on a daily basis. Nothing's going to change that. Mm. And then drop in 1.30 to 2.30 um, every school day. So I'm not going to have Zoom times um, on Thursday and Friday of this week. And if you are 
good. You don't need um, any help with how to upload um, things into Canvas because I had some people ask me how to upload your pictures of your notes into Canvas for grade. So that's like in reference to the Forces Notes Nearpod. Uh, so I'm going to show how to do that. So if you already know how to do that, this is your time to leave and then get to work. Okay, bye. Okay, now um, for those of you who need help. So what I did, um, the, sorry, I'm just showing you my notes. So these are my garden notes. So I've uh, shown how to, where I'm planting uh, my beans, my okra, my lettuce and spinach. And then I'm kind of planting the other beds that we have because we have four big beds. So yeah, so I took a picture of that. And I'm gonna go to Canvas. And then this is the student view. So I'm gonna go to modules because that's usually the easiest way for me uh, to figure out where all this stuff is and how it's organized. Um, so this was from last week and it was Thursday, all right. So we're gonna see how to submit this. So it says submit assignment, that's where you submit. I know usually we think, oh, it'd probably be at the bottom where we um, submit our assignment. So once you've gone through this, um, then you click submit assignment, and then you choose a file, and I've already taken a picture of my notes, and it is in pictures, and then where did I put it? Camera roll. There we go. All right. So, and then here are all my notes. Hope that works. And then I submit assignment. It's as easy as that. And then let's see. So if it says resubmit assignment, that means I've submitted it. And it says here, submitted um, late because it was last week, but that's okay. And then I can download and see what it looks like and submission details so I can see the details and make sure that it actually submitted. And then I can kind of see what it looks like or eventually. Maybe not. I just have to click it, I guess, to see it. Um, all right, so if you are done, you can leave now, but I think I'm going to um, talk about how to upload uh, videos into Flipgrid. I think some people had um, some issues with that. So if you're really done, you're good. But if you need help with Flipgrid, I got another thing to help you with. Uh, so on Flipgrid, when you do the Nearpod, uh, it will take you to um, Rihanna. That's funny. Um, it'll take you to a Flipgrid. So um, I get I see all of them all at once because I'm the teacher. Um, but here, hey, you can see everybody's submissions. So when you click, you want to add. Whoa. Um, then you click this to record. And if you want to upload something, upload your video, you click the upload icon. So I'm actually going to take a picture of this because uh, somebody needed help with this, but not of not of this. So we'll just. Here you go. Boop. But yeah, that's where you um, upload. Okay, and that's pretty much it. All right, so that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions that I could show you. And then I'll see you tomorrow.